Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting a new series that will be different from my usual tutorials. Rather than go in depth into teaching various techniques, these videos will be focused on sharing my Canva hidden font library with you. I have spent a lot of time researching these alphabets. Some fonts are easy to find, but others are a bit tricky and you have to dig down two or three layers to discover what you're looking for. I think this is mostly because there's not a consistent system for naming alphabets in Canva. Also, many of the designers from around the globe aren't fluent in English. This combination can make it difficult to find specific elements that you want to use. So in this series, I will cut through all of that confusion and show you how to find around 300 hidden fonts. Obviously, I can't do this all at once, so I've planned 11 videos for the series. If you want to be sure you catch each one, please subscribe and hit the bell. That way you will be notified each time I release a new video. Most of these types of specialty fonts are only available to Canva Pro users, but there are several free fonts included as well, so watch each video all the way through to find them. With that having been said, let's get started. Here we are in Canva, and today we're going to be looking at 28 different alphabets or fonts that are formed with flowers or what I call just elegant fonts. As I say this, I want to remind you that many of these fonts could fit in other categories, but since I have 300 fonts that I'm trying to show you, I needed to categorize them in manageable amounts. So therefore, I put them in these categories, but there are no hard and fast rules, so you can mix and match them any way that you want to. In this first alphabet, we're looking at what's called floral letter typography. Now, if this is the first of these videos you've watched, I always like at the beginning to explain how I've labeled these. You can see that I've said floral letter typography, and what that means is that I have looked at the keywords and at the titles that the designer has given this alphabet, and I have chosen what will give you the best results when you type it into your search bar. So as you can see, I have typed in floral letter typography over here, and it's given us these results with the A from this set being in the first position that comes up from the search. But to see all the rest, you're going to have to click on these three dots, scroll down here on this little menu, and click on See More Like This. And then they'll all come up for you. But I do want to point out that not all the letters are there right at the top. And in fact, it's mixed with some of these letters that have blue flowers in them. The reason for that is because the designer wasn't specific enough in his labeling for these fonts. So they kind of get all mixed and jumbled together. So the key thing to remember is that if you don't see the letter that you want, just keep clicking those three dots and scrolling down and clicking see more like this until you discover the exact letters that you do want. Our second alphabet today is this beautiful floral alphabet that's simply called flower letters. But this one is much easier to find because all you have to do is type in this set code number over here in the search bar, click enter and it'll come up like this. And then you just need to click on see all and all of these beautiful letters will come up. This is such a pretty set that's just made up of a variety of flowers put into letter shapes. This colorful alphabet is based on the work of Mexican artist Frida Kahlo and it's just called Mexico Frida Typography. Again, if these words seem a little bit awkward to you, it's because I've mixed and matched all the keywords to bring up the exact right formula to type into your search bar. And here you can see that I did just that. And if we click see all, you'll be able to see these letters. But of course, once again, in these generalized fonts, you're going to see all kinds of other things mixed in with it. So you're going to need to click on the three dots, scroll down to see more like this, and there you have many more of the options available to you. The other really neat thing about this font is that you're able to change the colors. So anytime you see that these squares are displayed up here, you can change the colors of the fonts. I put one of the letters here so that we could experiment with this. And let's just say 
we want the main letter to be a different color and we want it to be a yellow and we could do that or make it orange and change the colors of the flowers. So you can do anything that you want to do in terms of the colors on this particular font and that makes it very versatile. Now we're going to start looking at some of these gorgeous alphabets that have letters with floral accents. This is the first one and it's easy because it has a set code and you just type that in over in the search bar and there you can see all the letters displayed with these beautiful pink roses as accents. This alphabet is really similar to the pink roses alphabet with black lettering and then the flowers but these flowers up close resemble hibiscus. This one also has a set code and it is a pro element. This is another just gorgeous set with black letters accented with botanical flowers. And the ABC are not quite representative of the entire alphabet because as you can see when I typed in the set code over here on the left, there are many different colors and flowers represented. So if I click on some of these, you can see there's the M with a pink flower and here's the R with an orange flower. This is just a gorgeous set and once again it is a pro element. This font is an example of a really beautiful just line drawn botanical letter. Again it has a set code and it's a pro set but the advantage to this one is you can change the color. I have inserted a letter here and if we highlight it and go up here to the black box we could make this letter any color we want to. So this is a really fun set to use. Let me scroll back up here again so you can catch that set code number to be able to take a screenshot and put it in for yourself. This alphabet is another black and white beautiful illustrated alphabet. It doesn't have the ability to change colors and it doesn't have a set to enter either. So the best way to find it is to search for individual letters. As you can see I have typed in elegant flower letter initial A here in the search bar and here is the one we're looking for. We click on the three dots. We scroll down to see more like this and these will come up. Now as you can see there's some with different flowers so if you want to stay with the ones that look like these flowers you're going to have to go through that process again and again to find the individual letters that you are wanting to use for your project. On these that don't have set codes you kind of have to hunt and peck and go through them individually with searching but it's well worth it because they're just beautiful. Okay I have to admit this is one of my very favorite alphabets that I have found. It's the Mandala Letter Illustration. It has a set code so it's easy to find as you can see on the left hand side of your screen. And I have put one of these letters, enlarged it here on this next slide so you can see just how beautiful these are. And they have the added advantage of being able to change the colors to whatever color you want. So we can have a, a pink letter, or a turquoise letter or a green letter and the detail is just amazing. This is one of my favorite picks and again I will go up here and scroll up so you can see the set number for yourself and copy it down. These are really cool vintage letters that I discovered if you type in vintage library free just like that with no spaces you come up with all these wonderful monograms of various letters and you can go ahead and click on them and search more like this and find more. And the good thing is they're all free and some of them you can change the colors on. So you just have to look letter to letter, but there's lots of choices and the only thing you have to type in is vintage library free. So these are really fun to play with. This font is another example of how it can be difficult to find what you're looking for if you don't have an exact set number to type in. However, I think this is so beautiful with this scroll work that it can be worth the search. So as you can see I typed in alphabet letter A in ornamental font up here in the search bar and you can type in the individual letters alphabet letter B, alphabet letter C. Here if I click on the A and I go down to see more like this 
you're going to see a really mixed group of things. So you have to kind of hunt and peck once again. But because these are so beautiful, I thought I would include them, even though they're a bit difficult to find every letter of the alphabet in this particular font. Check out this really pretty font with just hand-drawn butterflies and solid letters. This is another easy one with the set code to type in, and it has the added benefit of being able to change colors. So if I want to make a purple letter with a purple butterfly, I can make that happen. And it's just really, really pretty. Let me scroll back up here so you can get that code number again. This is another really fun font that's kind of bold and bright, and it has the advantage of being able to change the color. It also has a set code, so it's very easy to find and very fun to use. This floral alphabet is another one of those that is very difficult to find every letter that you're looking for. However, it's so pretty and it has the versatility of being able to change colors. So I played with all the keywords until I finally found something that would make it come up as the first option after you search. And that is this kind of convoluted line floral letter A or B, whatever letter you're looking for, floral letter A, lettering, nature, logo, A. Believe it or not, that's what I had to type in to get this to come up as the very first choice. Now we're moving on to several alphabets that are either based in rose gold colors or gold colors. This first one has a set number, is a pro alphabet, and you can see it's basically rose gold and peach colored. It's really pretty when you see it up close. This set is really similar to the last one, but the letter itself is a little thicker and it has pink flowers rather than peach. Again, it has a set code, so it's easy to find. And here's a third rose gold set. This one, it may be a little difficult for you to see. I'm going to try to zoom in, but it actually has kind of a glittery letter in the A, B, and C, and then it has the pink and peach flowers. This alphabet comes with a set code and is a pro element, and it goes back to being more of a traditional gold, and it has tropical flowers. This is a good time to remind you that a lot of these fonts can fall into more than one category. I have other tropical fonts in the video that is labeled Christmas and Seasonal because they're summery. So the best thing to do is look through all of them and recategorize them based on your own system that works well with your own projects. This beautiful gold alphabet with the white flowers does not have its own set code. So once again, we're kind of hunting and pecking, looking for all the letters. But if you type in gold floral monogram letter A or B or C, whatever letter you're looking for, it will come up like this over here. And then we'll just do our little routine of see more like this and they will all come up for you. It's really pretty, particularly on a dark background like this. This pretty alphabet has a kind of 3D look to it. It's called the Gold Thin Alphabet. It does have a set number, but even though it's called gold, you can see that it has a square here that designates that you can change the color. So that makes it quite versatile. The last alphabet that I would categorize as kind of elegant is this ornate uppercase letters alphabet that has a set code, so it is easy to find. And it's really pretty when you zoom into it. It's silver and kind of bronze looking and it's very elegant. Now we're transitioning to some less formal alphabets that include flowers. This is the first, it's called letter with tulips. As you can see, I typed in letter A with tulips over here on the left in the search bar. And I'm going to go see more like this and then they'll all come up for you. Isn't this a pretty spring alphabet? Again, I could have put this in the seasonal video because it's so springy, but I thought it was a good example of another floral alphabet, so it ended up here. Now I'm going to show you three different alphabets with sunflowers. 
The first one has white letters with the sunflowers, and I typed in letter A with sunflower. I put one after it just to denote that the next slide has letter A with sunflower, and it's black letters. And as you can see, they both came up here when I typed this in. But here, if we click on this one, we'll see all the white ones come up for you to use. And here is the black set that's pretty equivalent. It's just the sunflowers are drawn a little bit differently and have some wheat with them instead of the green leaves. Here you can see I typed in letter B with sunflower. And when we go through the process of expanding it, you will see all of the letters there. This third sunflower alphabet is another example of having to mix and match keywords until I could get it to come up as the first search result. Here you can see I typed in sunflower letter watercolor gold and it came up with all of these in the top line and I click see all and there they are. This is another just beautiful sunflower set. This alphabet is absolutely gorgeous when you look at it up close. It's called Watercolor Tropical Floral with Leaves. It's blue watercolor with Bird of Paradise and different tropical leaves. The blue watercolor is a gradient, so it starts out light at the top and comes into a darker watercolor at the bottom. And it really looks hand painted. So I was really excited to find this, and it's easy to find for you with this set number. This is another alphabet that I was really excited to find, and I had to kind of hunt and peck around to find it. But if you type in capital letters with flowers and butterflies, you will see these beautiful different shades of purples and blues letters with butterflies on them. And if I click see more than this, you can see a lot of them come up. They're just gorgeous, and I can think of lots of different ways of being able to use them in our graphic projects. Last but not least, number 28 of our floral alphabets is this letter echo leaf design that you can type into the search bar. They all come up in the first row. You can click see all. And they're just a really elegant designed leaf pattern that is all solid colors. And it has the added benefit of being able to change the colors so you can make them a different color green or any color you would like. So I hope that you have enjoyed all 28 discoveries that we've made of floral alphabets, and I hope you'll be able to use these in your project. Remember that there are 11 videos in this series, and if you'd like to be informed when I release each one, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the bell. I would really appreciate it, and it would help me as well as helping you. And of course, once they're released, you can find all of these videos in the same playlist on my channel. Thanks again so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.